Welcome back to the Legend of Zelda, the Wind Waker HD. Last time we did more treasure chart collecting, and this time we are going to do more. Yeah, this is kind of a problem I have with this game, is the treasure charts are actually pretty tedious. There's a hole over here. That's not suspicious at all, so let's drop down. And this is actually part of a bigger side quest that unfortunately we won't get to for a little bit, but um, we'll see what side quest it is when we get out of here. You can spin these platforms, as you might be able to tell, but that is actually really, really dumb because they were already pretty well aligned. And that's just swell. Um, ow. So, what's in here? Rupees doesn't really help me much, but ooh, yellow ruby. Um, so there's a treasure chest up there, but I just have a gut feeling that's not actually where we need to go, based on all the uh, other stuff going on. So we kill that dude, and this creates a little launcher. I'm just gonna call it a launcher. I don't know what else to actually call it because it's a little plant thing. So. Uh, well, because we came here so late into the game, we can actually d do this. <laughs> Piece of cake. Um, take that. Firewall. Um, I'm gonna come back for that. And I was hitting the wrong button. I was hitting Y when I meant to hit X. My bad. Drop down. Rush over here. And not hit Y this time, hit X. Yeah, I'm just saying, I like have an Xbox, I have a PS3, I have a controller for it, but I have a Vita. <laughs> you kind of have to have a, a button inputs for a Vita. <laughs> um, otherwise, it'd be kind of a weird handheld if you actually couldn't play handheld without needing a controller to defeat the purpose. But I'm kind of used, not used to juggling three control schemes so I tend to mess up a lot. That this is treasure chart number 25. This is part of the side quest as the other dude that we saw at Link's house. By Link's house I mean his cabana, cabana, whatever you want to call it. I never know if it's cabana or cabana. One of those mysterious words. Um so, open this up, and we get a really bad camera angle and a joy pendant. And luckily for us, the plants decide to play nice afterwards. Um, yeah, my rupee count really took a hit last time because of the treasure chart. I just was like, I don't want to mess with this. I'm just going to spend 999 on this and get the auction over with instantly. That's like actually a really good trick if um, you have a lot more rupees than you need. But, but by the time, the time you have the, the big wallet, or the, whatever it's called in this game, it was pretty close to the end game. Um, so the likelihood of needing it is actually pretty slim. So go into our inventory, that is treasure chart number 25. So, going down the list, 25 is the one we just got. 26 was from the... The octo chart that we got a while, long time ago. Um, just trying to do anything special. Let's see. Nerdy was from Tower of the Gods. Um, this one, number 32, is from the Three Eye Reef. I did not share that because all the reefs are basically just sheet stuff. Not very much to do, it's, and you have to do it like six times. Just tedious. 33 is from Windfall Island. The one we got last time, I think. So now we have to get the one I'm not so sure about where it is. Basically, it's apparently um, can be found multiple places, which worries me. <laughs> I'm just gonna get horrible luck. Basically, um, there were these guys who are like treasure hunters called Salvage Corps. And they just kind of go around the Great Sea, trying to salvage treasure using basically a grappling hook, like Link has. Um, 
Mainly they can be found all over the place, so this is, has me a little bit worried because just again bad RNG, like oh I'll just check everywhere and they won't be there. Um at Bomb Island, I'm pretty sure that is not a thing. Yeah, that's actually part of a different side quest. This is part of the trading side quest, considered one of the more hated side quests in the game, because how long it is. I'm just gonna stop here and check something for just a second. Wow, I stopped right in front of it, <laughs> naturally. Um, I was gonna get this while we're here, and I stopped like immediately in front of it. <laughs> Set the scooch for just a tad. A salvage coin is the official name, actually. It's from uh, the figurines in the Nintendo Gallery. So, everything in this game actually has an official name because of the Nintendo Gallery, so that's really cool. Uh, a lot of stuff doesn't have official names in games, so it's pretty nice to see a game that actually does. So we're heading to the Eastern Triangle Island, which if you recall is where we placed one of the pearls early on in our adventure. And I think I see them actually. Yeah, that's actually them. That was easier than I thought. I was afraid they'd be kind of a goose chase. Maybe they're like, permanently spawned everywhere. So just sail up. And lock on, just so I don't chop out of the ship. Yeah! My fine boat you got there, bub. You must be searching for treasure on the seafloor, aren't you? you? Don't get any from us, bub. Not likely. Let me ask you something real quick. Who wants to on the unofficial sea? I'll tell you who, bub. Only pirates, monsters, and treasure hunters like ourselves. What? What the heck is he talking about? Um... Look your style, bub. I feel like I've known you my whole life. So hey, but I'll tell you what, as one treasure hunter to another, I'll give you this. Um, what did... Was that it? <laughs> was it really that simple? Hmm. Um, because the Zelda... Wiki says something totally different. The Zelda Wiki says, when Link first encounters the core, they tell him how to use the grappling hook like a salvage arm, to raise up treasure from the open ocean floor. They also give Link the treasure chart they for if Link asks them... Okay, I misread it. Never mind. I, I misread it as you have to talk to them repeatedly to actually get the chart, but... Uh, apparently that's not actually the case. So, unnecessary text box, but it wasn't my... This is the game, so it was actually my fault for once. Okay, so number 34 goes to... Five feet away from us. <laughs> um, why wouldn't we get this right now? We're literally right here. Um, I think that happened already. There was one case, the Cyclops Reef, that I did not actually get it because I wanted to show actually I was getting the treasure at least. But that kind of a similar situation where it's like, oh, you just got, got a chart, it's like two feet away from you. So number 36 is next on our agenda because 35 was from the Wind Temple. So for 36 we need to go to Ice Ring. Uh, why is it? Uh, why isn't the map responding? Oh, there. Uh, hello. It's not really. Hmm. It's not letting me move the map cursor. You can hear me clicking the control stick. And it's just absolutely not responding. Oh, there we go. Um, Ice Ring Isle is... Where is it? Okay, it's there. And I think we also got a treasure shark for there as well. So, two birds, one stone. Uh, sorry for crashing into your boat, guys. <sighs> yeah, nice sunset. Uh, yeah, Twilight Princess HD. Does definitely doesn't look as good as this game. No, upon closer inspection. But hey, it doesn't look too horrible at least, so whatever. I mean, it looks better than a lot of remasters, to be fair. A lot of remasters look like complete rubbish, even though... Um... Well, how to put it? Hmm. Like... What's the least remastered game I can think of? Probably would have to be... 
um, something really not remastered very well. I'm just trying to think of something. Because a lot of the remasters uh, I personally have played have actually been pretty decent. Um, I'd say probably the Ratchet and Clank collection would be on my list for like really not good remasters considering they made the games look worse. Um, like weird fuzzy textures on the sides of the screen, weird graphical glitches, so it's like, it's not worth it. And how did you screw this up? <laughs> um, wow, that was generous, I wasn't exactly on the X, I was just on the, like one of the little prongs of the X. That was it. But hey, I'm not complaining <laughs> that the hit texture was uber generous. Um, so that was Treasure Chart number 17, and this is not a place I ever really want to come back to. <laughs> also, I'm just kind of being dumb from the standpoint that I never got this. I, oh, Ice Physics, ow. <laughs> Gotta admit that that never gets old. Like, Link going, ah! and then falling on his face. And this is treasure chart number 35, or was it 36? I can't remember. Uh, scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. That was 36. 37, we don't have. 37, uh, is at Rock Spire. Which, uh, I need to actually check. <laughs> Dang it, game. Stop, stop it. Stop it, game. Uh, I, I'm using a pro controller, so I don't know, maybe I might have to switch to the gamepad this way because of how this is going. Or just use the touchscreen more. So, the Rock Spire Island is. I'm pretty sure. Wait a minute. It's apparently north of Great Fish, so off to Great Fish we go. Speak of which, I thought there was a treasure chart Great Fish, but I don't remember where it actually is. I'm like where it is on Great Fish Isle. Wow, we don't have that many treasure charts to go, so uh, probably next episode we'll get to start actually collecting the treasure. And I'll work towards a piece of heart completion, of course. But uh, then after that, collecting pieces of heart, and that is it. And I actually want to take this moment to talk about this, the differences between versions. Five pieces of heart are actually, no, five treasure hearts are actually new. Um, I think four were from the Triforce. Thus, it's actually a downgrade because they're just rupees now. <laughs> and um, one is actually pretty new from what I can tell. Basically, wait a minute, is this the place where we need to be? Uh, rock spire inside the grotto. Oh, so it's actually inside. Never mind. Keep on sailing. Deal with you guys later. I'm pretty sure there is actually something in there. Um, like a piece of heart or something. I'll have to double check. There is like a map that's like has that has like every piece of heart. Also, um, I used to do this puzzle like a complete idiot. <laughs> um, I would manually do this on foot. Throwing bombs up to the thing with bobs, which is stupid. Just use the cannon. <laughs> so yeah, don't be like past me and actually use common sense once in a while when trying to solve puzzles. But yeah, it's not the hardest thing in the world actually to basically like time your bomb throw so it just blows up the rock. And but I never realized that I could just use the ship cannon. <laughs> I don't know why. I've thought of that before. Um, so inside the grotto after Link lights torches, so we need to light torches apparently. Looky there we got us ourselves a, a stick. Let's light some torches. Boom boom. And holy cow that's a lot of keys. <laughs> uh, if I ever saw a moment to use a great spin, this is it. Ow. <laughs> uh, that did not work at all. Hey, do something like so. I won't have to. Oh, actually, this is going pretty well. <laughs> Swing indiscriminately. 
Uh, they're too low, actually. I mean, they're too high to actually hit with the great spin attack with comfortably. And just getting dizzy wouldn't help me out any. Is that all of them? Nope, oh, one straggler. Take that. And this is treasure chart number 37, which apparently is more rupees, unfortunately. That sucks. Why is everything rupees in this game? <laughs> like, there's way too many tre treasure charts that are just rupees. Um, 38 is from the auction. The auction that I completely cheesed, because I had a lot of money at the time. And that goes to Cyclops uh, Reef. I didn't. That's the one I didn't actually get because again, I want to show it on screen. Because believe it or not, that was actually mildly important. <laughs> Thirty-nine. We have because of Dragon Roost Cavern. Forty onwards is it. So we only have seven more to go. Um, and I screwed up, actually. <laughs> I meant to get 41 off screen. Um, that's kind of bad. <laughs> 41 is at the 5 eye reef. It's another one where you just blow up cannons, and that's it. So I was gonna do that off screen, but I kind of spaced on it. And I forgot to get the skull necklaces off screen also. So that sinks. So we'll be, next, we'll be skipping 41 and 42, I guess. Uh, Southern Fairy Island. Uh, was there actually an actual treasure here as well? Or did I already get it? I can hear it. Um, actually. Um, let's check in the map. The, the, so the fairy islands are low on the number scale. I don't know which fairy island this actually is. <laughs> I mean, in terms of positioning, I should specify because... Um, wait a minute, what? I don't know what it looks like. Wait, I can't actually see the island. Um, zoom, zoom. So it looks like it should be over here, but I'm not seeing any light right now. Kind of creep forward. Oh, there we go, finally in view. This is treasure track number four, if you were wondering. Uh, and I'm pretty sure it's a pizza heart. <laughs> um, guess we'll find out. <laughs> This was the one we got in Rock Spire from Beetle's shop. And yes, it is indeed a piece of heart. Uh, now that we got that, we need to go over this way. This is the one I was thinking of, actually, in Rock Spire. So, actually, while we're here, we should equip. Wait, I already have it equipped. Never mind. Uh, actually, no, we don't, because. Wait a minute. Do you have to shoot things, or. Let's see, uh, Piers decided to change cut. Okay, so we need more. Yeah. Uh, so basically, I'm gonna do this because it is kind of different, I guess. It's not exactly like the others, but basically, yeah, this is what you do at all the reefs. You just shoot cannons. Off the side. Oh, I took out that uh, Coblin. Moblin. I, I don't know what the difference is. It makes me a bad Zelda fan, probably. I don't know anything like that detailed. I mean, you know, because some people, you know, learn Hylian and stuff like that. That's like super hardcore fan. <laughs> I'm not that hardcore of a Zelda fan, even though it is my favorite video game. Oddly enough, Zelda's my favorite video game, but I'm not like super hardcore about it. Ow. Oh, each one has things. Okay, I get it. Uh, wrong button. Panic mode. <laughs> um, I'm assuming the treasure chart's gonna be on the one without a ladder, aka the hardest one to actually get to. That's just my intuition speaking. And because I technically have 100% of this game before, so I'm pretty sure that actually is the case. Okay, so we missed one cannon somewhere. <laughs> oh wait, they're all spawning over there. Um, well, which one did we miss? Because obviously we missed a cannon somewhere. Oh, is it here? Or are there just two treasure chests? Yeah, that's kind of weird. Um, in any case, let's just get out. I 
kind of Link's hat just is like kind of sitting completely level in the water. <laughs> Um, yeah, I forgot to get skull necklaces, and yeah, I don't actually know where to get skull necklaces. These guys give you joy pendants. Speaking of which, I'd need those too. Um, give me a joy pendant. Thank you. <laughs> Not that you have much of a choice in the matter. And a heart, that's cool. Uh, some of these probably have rupees. Magic, obviously they want you to glide. Like how the heck else are you gonna get over that gap? And I should make sure the wind is in the right position first. Also, I just noticed Link is actually wearing the low power bracelets. Uh, I, I've known that, but I just forgot to point it out until now. Unless I did in the main Let's Play and I just forgot because that was like four months ago. This is... a uh, skull? Wait. How many do we have now, actually? Two. Shoot. <laughs> um, well, that was close, at least. Got my hopes up for nothing. And this is what we actually came for, the church chart. Um, yeah, I'm not sure where we're going to actually get the skull necklace this late into the game. I mean, I'm pretty sure you can fight Moblins in Ganon's Tower, but I don't think that'd be ideal because I'd have to do a lot of backtracking. We're just gonna get the other ones for now. Again, as I said before, actually it'd be easier to go this way at this point. This direction. Treasure chart 40 goes to Headstone Island, I think. It looks like Headstone. Yeah, looks like it. 41 is 5 Eye Reef, 42 is the one we need 3 Skull Necklaces for. So we'll do that next time. 43 is on Horseshoe Island, which I'm not 100% sure what that actually is. Horseshoe Island is probably, I think it's up here somewhere. Um, I've gone by about three times already. Or is it at the bottom part of the world? Horseshoe, there it is. West of outside, oh shoot. West of Outset. Uh, wow, there's not much left. <laughs> not much left to collect here. Um, so we got the two joy pendants. So we quite end off that because I'll need to go to Windfall anyway. To start back at Windfall, do the one that I want to show, and then start actually collecting this stuff. Da, 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 da. Um, and I have not pointed out after like how many videos, like probably thirty by now. I have not pointed out the design link sale at all. What the heck is that actually? Because I don't know what that design actually is, is supposed to be. It's a mystery. Um, towers. I think most of the towers will actually give you stuff, but it's just like most of them don't give you anything that's like actually that helpful. I mean, didn't we already do the thing here? But I again, I obviously don't have a treasure chart number uh, 43, but I thought we already did everything we needed to do here. Um. This is Horseshoe, right? No, wait, this is Diamond Step. Where's that on the map? No, this is Horseshoe Island. Like, what the heck? Uh, I must... I must have forgotten to do something inside the cavern. It's kind of bad. And yeah, like I said last time, every time you have to come back, you have to repeat the puzzle. And all the animations. Yeah, I could have sworn I did everything here. Guess not. Let's see. Toss. Kinda. Just need a little shove. Light shove. And I don't know, the game, this game just looks so nice because of the higher lighting mostly. Because again, there's a lot more lighting here. So on the switches of the two platforms create a pair of treasure chests on the opposite platform, one of which contains a treasure shark. 
That's what the guide says. I don't know what that actually is supposed to mean. Step on two switches. How have we only got two treasure charts over here? Yeah, the guide's wrong. Um, Cause, yeah, the guide's definitely wrong. So treasure chart for the something for the one. No, wait, it wouldn't be forty one because we already got that. Let's see. Um, treasure chart forty three. Treasure chart 43 is not a horseshoe because we. It's another part of the guide actually says um, 28, which I, we do, did get. I do know that much. Number 43 is. Huh. Okay, so it actually is here, but the guide didn't say where. Thanks, guide. Thanks a lot. <laughs> um, I did not mean to talk to you again. It's apparently over there. Oh yeah, and there's those guys again. <laughs> Just didn't need to worry about not being able to find them. It's probably on the one you have to glide to, just because. You can get some uh, feathers at least. For once we start getting the... Uh, why are you climbing down? <laughs> Climb up, Link. Yeah, for some reason I find the Pro Controller is like really glitchy. Um, maybe because I dropped it on multiple occasions by accident. That probably isn't helping it any, but yeah, I just find that's kind of glitchy. Um, so lock onto you and take that. See ya. <laughs> and then... Oh, that doesn't actually do anything. Step on- Oh, two switches! The two sw- I wonder if the guy actually said on the lookout platform, or if it just said step on two switches. Because if it just said step on two switches, that's like, super generic. <laughs> Gee, that doesn't help me at all. Game. Or guide, actually. I'm not- I shouldn't blame the game for that. And the wind was even pointing in the right direction for this. Can I grab a ladder in midair? Nope. <laughs> Um, let's see, I'm, I'm, now I'm curious. Step on the switches of the two platforms. Okay, so it did say platforms, I was just misreading it, so it's not even the guide's fault, it was just me not reading correctly. Can't say I'm, like, okay, that was just a kind of a trick move. Um, can't say I'm too surprised by that. <laughs> Climbing a ladder. I probably should have taken out that guy from the boat, actually. So I don't have to do this climb again. Uh, this is a... Please be a skull necklace. Oh, golden feather. <laughs> oh well. I'm actually worried because, you know, skull necklaces aren't exactly easy to come by. So if I botch the, uh, the, the mini game, I am just kind of stuck. Step on the switch, I don't... Ow. Actually, now I, now I do care about being these guys. Um, this should be treasure chart number 43. And, um, yeah, this is one of the ones that was added to the HD version. You can't find this treasure chart in the main game in the uh, original. But yeah, none of the added ones really have anything important except number 46, because 46 was... Um, 46 was a switch around of two items. Basically, a the hero's charm at the end of the Savage Labyrinth was replaced with was originally a heart piece, and you would get the uh, hero's charm. I think from the the school teacher if you give her 40 joy pens. So it's, it's like switched. Like you get the heart piece from the school teacher instead so yeah that's basically it on the subject actually um the one that you get from the star pendants and i mean the joy pendants actually isn't the same one that gives you the heart piece the one with the heart piece is actually at a different place it's weird 
back to Windfall we are, and uh, next time on The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD, we will be collecting the last of the treasure charts.